Welcome, what's good, my people? We are back again for another one of the one and only Miss Telix Vlogs. Welcome to a Miss Telix Vlogs. What is good, my people? Big up to y'all, all time, all over the place, right there. And then, guys, of course, if you're new to this channel, I'm your boy, Miss Telix, and this. Is why I tend to get my views on a number of things taking place where in Dominican the Caribbean and the rest of the world by extension, guys. So with that said, guys, definitely subscribe and don't forget, guys, to turn on that post notification so you can get all the videos as they come through. And give this video a thumbs up in this regard right there as well. Now, guys, before I get into the vlog right there, I saw a video on Instagram and I thought it was funny. And I asked a friend of mine to send it for me, for which the individual did not get to it. But when I went on my WhatsApp, individuals were actually sending me that video. I don't know if you guys heard the call or something, man, but you guys definitely sent me the video and I thought it was funny. And I'm definitely sharing that with you guys as well. This is it right there. that I saw in this video that got me thinking. For example, how on earth did they get the cow to go inside this little bus to then enjoy the view with its own window? <laughs> Not only that though guys, but also understanding that the brother is more concerned about the safety of the cow than himself if his foot have to sleep or something like that at that speed. Ah, I tell you boy. I tell you eh. People just do things with themselves, eh? <laughs> guys. Please be careful out there. Not only that, though, guys, but they have a set of stuff on top of the bus. Man, I tell you, guys, where there's a wheel, ah, where there's a wheel, <laughs> there is indeed a way, brothers and sisters. That is something I took from that video right there, guys. And I think it is important for us to understand where there's a wheel, there's a way. But you have to be careful out there, guys. So talking about where there's a wheel, there's a way. There's a Haitian brother out there in the nature of the Caribbean, Dominica who won the lottery in Dominica, Dominica National Lottery. He won the lottery, guys. Today is a day where all speculations and all doubt will be over because it's the first Super 6 win for 2021 from the Dominica National Lottery. Today, we are in Dominica National Lottery are celebrating the winning of Jack, Jackie Volney, a 33-year-old of course, this video was brought about by MODs, but a number of Dominicans were not happy about that very situation right there. Stating that, hey, he's a Haitian and he should not have won it. A Dominican should win the Dominican National Lottery because it's called Dominican National Lottery. But guys, keep in mind, it's not called a Dominican National Lottery. It's called the Dominican National Lottery, not the Dominican National Lottery. And the brother is a national in Dominica, therefore gives him the privilege for him to be able to win the lottery, which he did. But irregardless of that, it doesn't matter. Whether it was a Haitian living in Dominica, he just came on holiday and won the lottery, he won it fair and square. Even in the United States, guys, take for example this very situation right there. Read it for yourselves and you will see that this is the case right there. You can buy a US lottery ticket, win the Powerball and the Mega Millions lotteries, and collect your jackpot no matter what your US resident status is. Of course, since non-US residents are eligible to buy the tickets, they are also eligible to claim the prize money, which of course they did definitely win. So even in the United States, guys, it doesn't really matter. You win, you win, fear and score, you win. It is a ticket that you buy, you put some numbers, a circle, some numbers, whatever it is, and you put it in something and or, or you hold it and they spin something and then numbers come up. And you win. if you win it, you win it fair and square. You cannot be complaining about the man who put his own number down and you vex it with the man because he chose the right numbers that come upon the power ball or whatever, or the lottery. I mean, come on, people, why are you vexing with the man? The man win his money fair and square. The problem I have, however, guys, is when they were actually announcing where the brother was staying. I took that out of the video. Anyways, this is the continuation right there. Mr. Vonne, he purchased his ticket at McMillan last service station on January 29, 2021 and won himself $440,650. Now guys, I don't think people understand, especially in a desperate time. Oh, where desperate times meet desperate measures, guys. I don't think they should have announced where the brother was staying. Because you are making this brother a target for individuals to then come to him to try to steal his money or to beg him for money or do all that kind of something there. I don't think that is, 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 is a very wise thing, man, especially for the type of money that he won. It is not $10,000 or $20,000, you know, guys. It is a half, almost half a million dollars this brother win. And you are stating where the brother got the ticket, all kind of things like this. I don't think that's necessary or should be done because you're putting these individuals or making these individuals targets, man. What are your thoughts on this, guys? Leave that, of course, in the comment box below. At this time, our HR representative, Mr. Jackie, his check. Can you please hold your check? 
Come hold your check. At least friend of him, just take the picture. <laughs> that was kind of funny right there. But they didn't have to really boy that. Now the boy want to stand up next and with the four hundred thousand dollar check. Well, the big check, not the real thing. But he was standing up next to you, just push the boy aside. Say, Come on, there, boy. Go and work for your money. <laughs> it's interesting, man. I tell you. But hey. Congratulations to the brother right there for winning your money money fair and square. That point all the haters. Sometimes when you're elevating, even your own people might end up hating on you because you won the money, not them. And sometimes you might give somebody $5,000, $10,000 and they still vex with you because they want more. Oh, brother, you're in trouble right there, you know, especially when it comes to people who are greedy for what is not their own. So I'll urge you to be careful. Out there, bro. I know there's also a lot of Haitian individuals who tend to watch my videos So if you guys can tell him congratulations for me Unless he's actually one of the Haitian individuals who watches the videos as well The Mr. Lick's vlogs videos as well So congratulations to him guys And of course guys, if you want to go check out more of what he actually had to say um, You can definitely check out MO News And of course I'll post that link in the description below So check it out guys And you'll get to see the full thing right there and then Anyways, with that said guys, talking about Lennox Linton guys and of course including that of Donald Trump for which a number of persons have been trying to put Lennox Linton into some sort of incitement or whatever 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 but based on this article that you've seen right there guys I will be posting that link in the description below as well of course it reads part 2 no case of incitement against Lennox Linton et al but Trump guilty as impeached first of all I must make mention guys that Trump was actually acquitted from this whole impeachment thing that was going on out there. There was literally no evidence whatsoever. I think when I was watching the video of them talking about the whole situation, the only witness that they had came up and say that the individuals who stated what he did not say was false. And he wanted that to be removed completely of the record. And of course, sooner or later, they acquitted the whole thing right there. Because this, of course, was nonsensical. So, but of course, a number of persons will be debating and say, no, that is true. He said this and said that, but apparently he was acquitted. So if he was acquitted, apparently what you guys are saying are not necessarily the case. Especially considering that these guys are now in charge of the House and the Senate. And he was acquitted. Now, this whole incident apparently happened four years ago, guys. In February, I think it was 7th, based on the article and everything, guys. You can definitely check out the article. But based on this, four years ago, guys, we're on the 22nd of February. But four years ago, guys, considering the whole situation, when all this was happening with violence and all these kind of things taking place in Rosu, burning up buildings and whatnot, boom, man, being blood, whatever. Uh, apparently, Lennox Linton wasn't even there. <laughs> and I was also actually in the very meeting as well. I think I have it on BRBPTV, the whole situation involving this thing. And, um, you know, there was no incident. Excitement. But I was actually there for the actual meeting of it. I think I have it on BRBP TV, for which you guys can definitely check out. But there was no incitement. It was just telling the people to stand up for the right, for a right, because it is their right to stand up against what they believe is not going forward or in benefit to the country. So this is what the people were doing right there. And of course, afterwards, you know, the whole situation, you know, fire coming. And I think, and this is just my personal view on this thing right there, guys, that maybe on the other side, they actually came into that meeting to try to cause this very same thing that they knew in their mind that they would try to charge Lennox Linton for. So it's possible that the other team were the ones doing this whole destruction and then trying to blame it on everything. It's kind of like the same thing that happened in the United States. When you had the other teams doing things, people coming in to interrupt and... Anyways, that is a whole other, that is a whole other topic right there. But based on the article right there, guys, you can pretty much see that the evidence is very clear in this. Read this thing for yourself, guys. You can pretty much see the summary of the facts is very conclusive, guys. The officials of the United Workers Party did not violate any national legislation. If they did, let me know in the comment box below. They did not breach public peace, nor did they advocate disorder. Did they do this, guys? If they did, let me know how they did this. They did not incite anyone or group or persons to commit any unlawful act. That would be ridiculous for a political party to do. Within right, for right, that is what they can act upon. There were no persuasive words or deeds complained of which were directed to any specific person or group of individuals right there. There was no intention in anything expressed at the meeting to cause a riot, civil disobedience, unrest, or destruction. I think the whole basis of this whole thing was caused as a result of destruction. Then saying that people did violent acts guys of course like i said before it could have been the other team trying to you know put something in place right there it's not too far-fetched based on the evidence that we have seen from other things right there of course remember the whole incident involving the suitcase guy coming and bringing stuff by lennox linton and then taking pictures of themselves bringing it and if it wasn't for lennox linton them with the cameras and stuff who brought out the actual evidence and say hey 
these guys came to my house and did this. Then I'm sure that people will believe that this was the case right there, that he did some transactions with some foreign people or whatever, blah, blah, blah. And of course, they made a story on an article. Of course, you know, the fake article right there. Anyways, in fact, the meeting was long over. Before, like I said before, they were not there. The meeting was long overdue before the police moved in with the right gears, military style weapons with live ammunition to intimidate a frustrated lingering crowd right there guys like i said before guys you can definitely check out the article there's a lot more in this regard right there guys but i just thought i'll bring this out there for you guys to see it's interesting the kind of stuff that we actually seen right there so with that said apparently trump was acquitted and lennox there is no evidence of incitement whatsoever <laughs> if there is guys let me know i want to see because i recorded the stuff I was there at the meeting, man. And when I left to go home, I was like, yo, I miss all the action. You mean I miss all the action? I would get people on camera. Oh, you mad. I would have definitely gotten people on my camera. Probably they did that. They were waiting for me to go for them to do their thing. <laughs> Anyways, guys, this is pretty much all about us for this year vlog. I hope you guys understand it or enjoy it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up, guys. And if you want to see more, definitely subscribe and turn on that post notifications once again. And of course, with that post notification bell, Right there. Anyways, guys, be real. Tell all the dirty rock wicked up people them to stop all that dirty stinking ways, guys. Be real. Oh, be positive. And with the most highs up as always, guys. Definitely stick with up. Big up the Haitian brother right there and then. Welcome to Mr. Lex Vlogs. One day I will blow. Life is a constant uphill battle, but it's also filled with some beautiful moments.